Hey guys, Omerko here, self-taught web developer, and as you can see in this video, we are continuing our Angular Material series. Before we start with this video, if you are into Angular and Angular Material, on my YouTube channel you can find other uh, tutorials related to Angular and Angular Material as well. So make sure to subscribe if you are into that content. Now let's start with this video. First of all, what is this all about? Well, this autocomplete component. Well, you see, I will give you now example in a code. Let's say that we are storing some kind of a list of, well, capital cities. And let's say that the person, well, our user, wish to search for a specific city. So it will hold its own search term. In this given example, by that search term, we wish to filter through our, well, capital cities and get only the filtered cities based on that search term. So this is a code example, but what is this autocomplete well component in the Angular material? Well, you see, on our well website, we can have some search bar to search for a specific city. If a person, for example, clicks on that search bar, it should drop down well the different cities, well, our capital cities, our list, like Paris, London, Madrid, and so on and so on. So by that autocomplete component, the user will be able to see those series immediately and maybe select one of those series as well. But next to that, we are also able to store our search term. So the person, our user, is also able to search for a specific city like Paris here, for example, and select that city. So with that now, we can go back into our code. And plan for this now is to use that autocomplete component from our Angular material. First of all, let's remove this mat slider, the component from last video. We will use again mat slider, but not right now. And also app in our app module TypeScript file, let's also remove this. Here where it says components, I will also change this to say material components. And down below, I have an error. I need also to remove this mat slider from my imports array as well. You see, for these components from Angular Material, I will also generate my own Angular components. So it would be much easier for us to organize our project well, as at the end we will hold many components here. So for that, I will generate my component. So ng, g for generate, c for component. I will generate my component into components folder and I will name my component autocomplete. Now hit enter here and the Angular CLI will generate this component for us. So now here we can render our autocomplete component. So here I will first of all put the comment of autocomplete component and down below let's render that. So app autocomplete here it is and here I will also put end of auto complete component. Now, if you would open up your localhost 4200, you should see this text autocomplete works. But this autocomplete is just our own custom component. Let's now install and use autocomplete component from material. To use autocomplete component from material, I will go into my imports array in my app module.typescript file. And here I will now import mat autocomplete module. Once you use that module here, make sure to import it here at the top. In our material components, I will import my mat autocomplete module from, and here I will go into my Angular slash material slash autocomplete, and that's it. Next to this autocomplete module from material itself, we will also need to use some different modules. For example, our autocomplete is just the select menu that we usually use in HTML. And in that select menu, we will also hold some input field as well. So based on that, we can see that we will also need a module for our form and input field. So just after my autocomplete, I will import here mat form field module from again Angular slash material slash form field. Also make sure to import this down below in our imports array. And one more module we need. I also mistyped it is not mar but mat. Yeah. And the last module that we need for this material is our input module because we will also use input component here. So import 
mat input module from at angular slash material slash input and that's pretty much it just make sure to use this math input module in our imports array so now we can go into our components and start working with our autocomplete component html file let's create our form here so i will create the form action is not needed because it won't hold any functionalities to submit our form but for example we can pass a class and the class will be series form because we will work with the series here and i will hard code my styling right here in this form first of all i will display my form as a block and i will then put margin top to for example 100 pixel and one more thing for example text align could be center let's break this down a bit so you could see it better and now in our form we will use our autocomplete form not form but component as you already know we already imported our material form field module and for that we are able to use an element called mat, mat form field this mat form field will create the specific form field for material form we are also able to pass some well customization here for example like appearance and we can set that to fill and this will be a specific appearance for well material form next to this material form inside we can pass for example math label as we are using this form field well its own module we are able to use this material label and for that we can set like series because we will search for a specific series in our autocomplete component and as i mentioned earlier we will work with the input field here so the type of the input field can be text i will break this down a bit so you could see it better because we will have different attributes here as well so for for example we can use our placeholder like pick one like pick one city right then also we can use area label to specify the label for this input field like select a city and this here is important you must use something called math input if you wish to style and customize this input field as a material input you should use math input attribute right here the next thing that we can use is bind our form control here usually in material we bind this to some kind of control like our search term because our input field should accept our search term for a specific city as that form control is currently not known to us we will need to inst uh, well to import forms module and also reactive forms module from angular itself so this here can be can go up a bit because it is not part of the material components now go back into autocomplete component and now here we are missing our own search term so let's open up typescript file for our autocomplete component here in my typescript file i will create my own search term and I will set it to be new form control because we are working with the form control here. And that's pretty much it about this. Next thing after this form control, we can work with our uh, material autocomplete. So here I will bind, bind my mat autocomplete property to be set to auto. And we still don't know much about this auto. This auto refers to our material autocomplete component. So just after my input field, I will use math autocomplete which is the component from angular material and here we are able to use also few properties well attributes for example one of the attributes could be auto active first option which will set our first option in our select menu to be automatically active and here we can bind our auto which specifies the autocomplete to be set to our math autocomplete component itself so with this here property we are binding our our auto so whatever we select in our material autocomplete component it should be rendered at the end in this input field so what should this autocomplete component serve here well for example our autocomplete component is at the end just the select menu that we can use so it should hold some options here we won't use just option tag but we will use material 
option tag because we are working with our material here. So for this option tag, instead of just hard coding data here, I will go into my component TypeScript file and I will create the series property here. So for that example, just after my search term, I will paste my series array that I have here. Let me also go view and word wrap so you could see all of the capital cities of Europe. So with this series array, we have a place to store our series, but we won't use this series array to loop through those and render those in our select menu. No, we will now create also another property called filtered series. And this here will be the type of observable, which should be imported from RxJS and it will hold the generic type of string array. So soon we will store the whole copy of our series here in this filtered series. So don't worry about this error, we will fix that soon. Let's go back into our HTML to loop through those filtered series. Because our filtered series will be the copy of our, well, capital series that we have, here we will be able to use ng4 to loop through those filtered series. So here I will let city of filtered series that we have. And as it is observable, here we will also need to use async to asynchronously loop through those and I will bind also property of value here because this option hold, should hold the value as well. So here will be the property of Siri. Let's move this down a bit so you could see it better as well. And now what should we show in our option? Well, here I will property bind my Siri as well which means that we will see all of the options of our capital series, like London, Paris, Madrid, and so on and so on. But before we do anything about that, let's first of all make sure that this filtered series property will hold data of our series. So in our ng on init lifecycle hook here, I will use this dot filtered series and I will set it equal to my this dot search term dot value changes. Our search term is our form control, so we are able to listen to those changes that will happen in its own value. So here now we are able to use pipe and in my pipe I will also use start with. This start with must be imported here at the top, so I will move to the top side and here I will import start with from rxjs slash operators. Now with this start with, we are able to set this search term to always start with only, well, empty string. After that, I will map. So this map also should be imported from RxJS operators because it is the part of the RxJS library. And I will lab, uh, well, map through all of my values that I have in my filtered series. So value. And here, I will return those specific values. But how will we know which values should we return? So instead of just looping through those and filtering those right here, I will create a specific function for that. And this is how it is also usually done with Angular material. So here I will call my function. So this underscore filter and I will pass a value into that function. So with this underscore score filter, uh, we will create that function right now. I will create a private function underscore filter, which will get some kind of value, which will be always a string because all of our uh, cities are just strings here. And it will return the string array back to us, which means that based on that filter itself that we will do in this function, we will return the array of series, basically the left of, of those. So if my search term, if I search, for example, for par, then it will return only the values, well, the series that are including those three characters, like Paris, for example. And that way we will always set this filtered series to have its own, well, data, well, to get the data from this series. So to get the data from this series, we will first of all move this value to be always to lowercase, because all of our series will have that capitalized first letter. Let's make sure that all of the letters, all of the characters are lowercase, so it is easier for us to filter those. So here, const of uh, filter value, and I will set that to equal to value dot to lowercase. Now we can use this filter value always to get the proper, well, properties. 
and now we will return from our filter uh, method that we have here what we will return well i will use my this that series and i will use filter method on those so for each of my city i will check if my city dot to lowercase if it's if it includes here and what it should include well it should include my filter value so if my uh, city includes my filter value which will be my search term then i will return only those series back and when I return those, it will be returned here, which at the end will return all of the data into my filtered series. And this way we are getting our data into filtered series. Also, this error here is because our filtered series is declared, but it doesn't have initialized value. You can use a sign here, well, exclamation sign to remove that error without a problem. So this way you will be able to store just the empty data for a filtered series. But now if you will visit your local host 4200, you should see your own autocomplete component. This component is in center and it's moved from the top side because we use that inline styling for that. And you can see the label of it, which is series. You can also see the specific styling from Angular material. But the main thing here is functionality for this autocomplete component. So for example, if I would click on it, we would see all of these series here as a select menu. So I could click on Berlin to select Berlin here, as you can see. I will also refresh this now to move it back to default. And I'm also now able to search for par, for example, to get the paris back. So you can see that this filter and autocomplete functionality will work for our component here. So this will be it for our Angular Material autocomplete component. So if you liked what you saw, please click like and subscribe as I'm posting new content weekly. Thank you once again and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.